I think it is um, quite amazing. I love this idea. A view of the maestro photographer as you've never seen him before, as an art collector, though today he's selling. And I live with this um, above my bed for a long time. Above your bed? Yes. Of course, I am a decorator at heart, hence the coloring, you know. But the interesting thing of this photograph is that this material comes from Morocco, this comes from Los Angeles, this comes from Naples, this comes from Berlin, this comes from Los Angeles. You know, and this comes from Croydon, of course. Exactly, yes. the best thing of England. She's somebody magical, you know. I mean, we mustn't forget that Kate belongs to a new time of this country as well, because I remember back when I arrived, you wouldn't mi mix, people didn't mix that much, you know. You belong here, you belong here and Kate belongs to the generation of the New England. Mario Testino is parting with the artworks he's collected. They're going under the hammer at Sotheby's to raise money for his own museum back home in Lima, which promotes Peruvian artists. It's been a really good exercise. I've lived with all these things, but in a funny way, I'm enjoying much more the museum and what I can do to help my community and, and participate because I'm getting older and staying with the youth is important, it's exciting. And through the museum we can, yeah, expose younger people to more things. Okay. And I want to expand it, I want to expand the education program, I want to expand the exhibition program. I almost want to expand it to the world. <laughs> Mario Testino is in demand at least as much as the supermodels he photographs, like Gigi Hadid. She looks as though she has a square meal now and again, but what does Testino say about super skinny models on the catwalk? We would have to change the age of the girls, which I think the, our business has become much more accepting of any age. I photograph women, girls last so long, you know, Kate Moss, I'm still photographing her, I'm still photographing Naomi Campbell. The diet, the, the exercise, the way we're doing has changed. But then designers also would have to probably change a little bit how they make their clothes because often we can't put them on anybody, you know, it's like they don't fit if you're not of a certain size. Cool, that's cool, that's cool, Steve. Having learned his trade and made his name in Britain, Testino says he's been astonished to photograph its royal family. This was Harry at 21. Perhaps nobody made Harry's mother look more relaxed, vivacious than Testino, whose images of Diana are on display in his museum. When you give love, love comes back. And I adore this country. This country changed my life. And I think that the love came back with those photographs because then the British people knew me and they are, you know, and there's an association. So I see it like that, like, uh, and the good thing is that they can never take them away. You didn't get I mean, I almost yeah. want to cry when I talk about it because it's emotional, you know, and, and I don't like to talk about these things because I think I am a photographer. I get asked to come and do an assignment, but I'm not her friend or I can't, you know, she has her children, her children have to decide everything. I mean, I like to be respectful, but of course it's an amazing person that I've been given to have been the one to have documented it and, and, and made it like the way that people remember her. If you fancy yourself a budding Testino but you can't use a camera, don't despair. He can't use a camera either, it turns out. I am completely useless, you know, useless in the kitchen, useless with cameras. Useless with cameras? Useless. I mean, like, it's, it's unbelievable, even with the with the autofocus camera that my assistant sometimes have to tape the thing so it doesn't move around in from out of focus. I mean, I'm like, I'm just incapable. But I know when something looks good or not and how to make it look good. tried to do quite outrageous things with your shoots and had the client say no it's of too course. much of course they're all naked or they're all on fire of course and they've said yeah. no we're selling clothes is yeah. something i've heard a lot yes <laughs> i'm often taking people's clothes off but <laughs> why not yeah not everybody's made well you know and when they are you have to appreciate it well we are luckily but not everyone is oh. you know? 
Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, it was very good.